We're gonna have uh, yeah, I our, can, our FPS that ticker. Syndrome. We're gonna have some FPS in the top right corner. I think that's uh, that's great. Then you get to see uh, that everything is running smoothly. If you are uh, if you're not sure if it's you lagging or or us, you you can check in the top right corner. <laughs> Unfortunately, VG Gaming is now just the V. But apart from that, we're all good. So, kicking off our lanes, it looks like we'll have our lone Drew being played by Siler up in the top lane. Bear gets a scout out already. What appears to be a uh, just a scouting party from DK that will be Ice Ice Ice's off lane. Um, but it's FY as the uh, jungle shadow shaman. Uh, with Fenrir and the, as the shadow demon, they're both hovering around there. I'd expect rotations from them. Super the viper for the middle lane solo, and that leaves ROTK the man uh, with the hero who is almost completely unkillable, which is very good for the way ROTK. Place. Uh, he'll be taking the tight hunters to the offlane. And for Team DK, we have the Skyrath Mage in the top lane to be played by MMY. He will be joining Ice Ice Ice. Actually, he probably won't, but he's standing there for now. Uh, as far as the mid lane goes, the troll will be handled by Mushi. And then in the bottom lane, Clinks by none other than Burning. And that leaves, of course, Lanham to play the support juggernaut, which I believe DK are 1 and 1 with. They could be 2 and 1. Or, or maybe actually 2 and 0. I, uh, I got a feeling I was thinking about zero, man. didn't ha yeah the th game I was thinking about didn't actually have a juggernaut the one they lost to IG so I think their support juggernaut is 2 and 0 and that's a good level 1 rune for a juggernaut right there that could easily set up a first blood mid if they want to or top and it looks like did MMY skill yet cuz with the concussive right. shot they might be in a really good position to kill mid no he hasn't skilled yet I, I don't really think that they can do this. The haste rune is completely wearing off here. Uh, the only way they're really going to get a kill up here on the top lane is if they do both concussive as well as time walk, and they get the two slows and lone druid. And then you'll see the boots first uh, juggernaut come in with his spin. The problem is that Lanham, he doesn't want to be up here for this long. In fact, he's actually already been here this long. He has to commit to it because uh, he can't do his stack and pull. So without that, they need to try and find a kill up on the top lane. What they may not be expecting is the fact that FY is doing a pull already. Uh, so he's actually just doing a single pull, which is going to give this creep wave a little bit more momentum. Actually, no. Sila, he's taking the aggro up. This has to be tanked out. Are they going to pull the aggro off the wave? Okay, it doesn't really matter. Looks like they're going to get all the experience underneath the tower. And this smoke gang, they don't want to reveal themselves just for like a creep wave. They Michi, want to kill here. Michi knows what's happening right now. They're playing it exactly the way they should be. Actually now Fenrir scouted out Lanham trying to come in from the back, so a lot of time wasted for DK. They didn't really accomplish anything with this. At least they're going to get the counter ward, but the one good thing for DK, I guess, is that when they're inside the enemy jungle with these two heroes, they're putting pressure on two lanes at once by being missing on the map. But if they don't succeed in anything, they're going to be horribly underleveled. Both Skyrath and Juggernaut are not really good recovery heroes as far as experience goes, so they can't stay here forever. They're they're putting some pressure on the Viper. You can see him in the mid lane being a little bit more passive since he doesn't want to go too far forward on Mushi because he knows he can get ganked. But now I think he will because Shadow Demon is on backup, and it's an easy setup here for Vici. They just they're just fading. This is what DK has been waiting for. Okay, those pings are coming off from the Juggernaut. There's actually, unless it's from the SD, say, because he's looped around. Uh, this guy has literally gone all the way around. Uh, now we've got movement coming down, and Fenrir, he's close enough for them to go on. If they're going to get a custom shot, now Lanham comes in. There he goes, you can custom. Slow him down. SD, nice disruption. Super's backing himself up here, and Lanham, there's no point going into the spin. He needed to spin before that SD was able to disrupt him. So now the gank is evaded. But that, it, it really is having serious like ramifications for Super. Sure, he's getting levels, but it's 11-10 up against a 4-1 in the middle. Like in any other game, you would say that's just a lane crushed. It's true. It's a. It's kind of a problem. At least, at the very least, what DK accomplished in the mid lane is is putting a lot of pressure on that Viper. But the question is if the trade off is worth it. In the bottom lane, burning will be uh, will be getting good farm, and in the top lane, Ice 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 is actually getting a lot. And they did manage to. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, well, I, I guess DK are okay with this, even though they're going to have a very low-level Juggernaut. You said yesterday the Juggernaut was really low-level as well, and he caught up. Yeah, it was, it but was level 4. Uh, he was level 1 at 4 minutes in with that game I watched. It's really crucial that they that they find some sort of gank, and Lanimus, basically, he's going to get scouted again here by Fenrir. He's not going to find any sort of opening at this point. At least he's, he's doing one thing. Again. Like, Fenrir is actually as shut down as Lanham is. Uh, he's getting he's getting no real openings. He's using most of his disruptions defensively. Sure, it means there's no ganks, but what's coming up in the meantime? You got Ice 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 gone 14-3, very aggressively on Sila. He even gets himself a time lock against him. Maybe a little bit too aggressive here. But he's got poor man shield and backtrack, so all the confidence in the world. But you got Ice Ice Ice, who's getting close to the farm of Sila. 
You've then got on the bottom lane Burning, who's got nine for eight up against this tide. Losing who's one and one to tide. That's really surprising for me. How is how is yeah, uh, it's because, well, there was no support heroes even, like, burn through but RTK. Still just generally wins against melee heroes, but I guess RTK's boots opener actually helped him a lot, because he could catch up to Clinks and hit him with the anchor smash. So it might have been how RTK took a bit of an advantage in this Radiant's lane, but... Bottom tower is how is, uh, Scarath is level 2. I think Shadow Shaman at this point will be level 3, maybe even more, since he's just been farming in that top lane, and that's been the support trade-off right now. Uh, I guess we should just go and check Shadow Shaman, because, let's see, he's... Oh. Shadow Shaman is on the die. Toby, it's click, it's click a guy. Sorry, there man. Three and a half. Yeah, so t today, the, the little bit of ghetto setup we have right now because of the, it didn't show up <laughs> means we only have one screen. So, uh, I, ca lane? I can't click on what they I want. Need, yeah, bottom lane, RTK taking again. some good damage here. This could easily be a first Spin. blood. Spin. But, he's gonna get in I front think of him. he's gonna live. Yeah. That wasn't even close, actually. He's got more than 100 health. He's gonna salve up, use the tango again, and we'll just return to the lane. So, another. This early game for DK, you're right, the top lane is going well for them, and, and mid is decent, but... I'm still, you know, you saw the game yesterday. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not feeling, there's, I'm not feeling this juggernaut just there's, yet. There's a big difference in the game from yesterday. Lanham was at least finding some farm coming out of the jungle. He spent his entire time rotating between lanes. Completely. Like, this was his, like, that was his magic camp. He had that triple stacked, and uh, he was farming this one on a double stack. And that's where he got his ingest of, like, quick levels. And then he got his healing ward up and running, and he started doing something for the rest of the team. Like, middle lane was over-aggressive because they had the healing ward behind them, so he, they knew they could drop in life, and you wouldn't re require a bottle to basically do all your hard work for you. Because right now, Mushy is obviously doing that. But if he can start using that bottle and, like, full, like, overcommit with his health for the, for the first part of the harassment, and then use his bottle charges once he's deep, like, that's just a ticket to kill right there. But they, they, need, they need him to do more right now, and you see, yeah, he's, he's starting to prep the stack now, but he needs to have level 2 spin. It's very similar to the SK. You must have a level 2, either Sandstorm or Spin, uh, in order to make sure you can clean up the camps. If it's a level 1, it's nowhere near enough. It's it's kind of it's just a weird hero to play on support. That's also why it doesn't really get done regularly and I'm I'm looking for the recovery for him somehow. I, I can't see it right now. He's unfortunate that there's mud golems in that camp, the first one he's got at uh, around the middle lane, because he can't do anything about that pretty much. But yeah. he did manage to grab his level two, six minutes in, and Well, Skyroth Mage, I if they don't find an opening anywhere, I think just DK's oh, lineup. Oh, lane. yeah, they might be finding an RB. She's yeah, Fenrir is in position. How quick is that guy there? He's but he's he... only level one. I mean, yep. but he's, I, he's still as shut down as the Juggernaut is. But I still think a level one, a level one Shadow Demon is quite a lot more useful than a level two Juggernaut. And again, the trade-off is if Skyrath and Shadow De Shadow Shaman were even, but. They aren't even either, right? The top lane is is clearly favoring the Shadow Shaman. He's been pulling more. Uh, he's been doing a great job at that. And as far as the farm goes, I think slight slightly favoring Vichy. I think the the gold will be favoring them by absolutely nothing. Okay, and the expert. Yeah, so great, great Vichy. That's that's going well. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going exactly as you have foreseen. <laughs> So actually, this is where I'm really surprised they're they're ahead, but I guess it's because the Shadow Shadow Demon is level one. But yeah. just on the other hand, looking at the graphs is a little bit dangerous. First of all, these it's negligible when there's it's these small values, but just in terms of overall impact, I just it, oh, it, it doesn't. We've feel talked right. it to death now. It I, I'm looking. Right, does it? I'll I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and wait to see how this juggernaut you, you, works out. You just so. look at it. I, man, I had, we had exactly the same reaction. Exactly the same reaction. You just look at it and like you go to the W, go to the T, you go to the F, and you put them all together and enter. Like you just don't know what the hell is meant to happen here. And then you slowly start to realize what of the supports really done for the for the opposition. Now you got an SD that's so scared of rotations that they just not he's not quite sure what to do. He's not pulling, everything's going into FY, but they don't really care about FY if the good chrono comes off, so all those levels just count for absolutely nothing. And you're forgetting about the the ulti combo. 
Once that Juggernaut is capable of hitting level 6, he kind of does his job anyway. You isolate one hero and you kill them all. Oh, we That's could be the seeing right the first now. blood here. RTK is in position, but Mushi actually... No, it's not their sentry. It is it's, a feature sentry. It's so. being called in the bottom lane. Yeah. The Tide Hunter is missing now. Is he the Ancient stacking or he's come to rotate for a kill? Yeah. And DK making the right call here, staying back with Mushi. He might choose to go forward now if he heals up to full with his bottle. Because oh. it's a thousand health and nine armor to get through, which I think Vichy might not be able to with just the Titan and the Viper. They've, they've, he's already backed and up. Yeah. The Invis room was wearing off. He's so. giving up and going bottom. But yeah. So as far as farm goes, Salar is ahead by about 400 down to the troll, and, and Clink's trailing shortly after actually going to... Yeah, the, the, the farm is very even among the top five heroes, but most importantly, I guess, Tide is trailing quite a lot behind the Void, and... This Void is getting a lot. He's playing an offlane Void with a net worth of 2600 at 10 minutes, and he's got Treads, Poor Man Shield. So that's probably the source of income that DK needs to use the most. Uh, like you said, the, the ultimate combo from DK can definitely be, be scary, but they need to get there first, and they need the, to find a way to... Okay, they, they the want... The entire they will BG want gaming to is coming Ice Ice Ice, top But now. DK is in position too, and Ice 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 will just jump out from this. Yep. So. A really... That's the thing, like, DK really in position, rotation so far. look at the lanes, man. Mushi's in the on the middle, and they're giving the bottom lane to oh. Juggernaut, because they realize the Juggernaut's not finding his yeah. farm in the other lanes. So, while the bottom lane got abandoned, they just push him out. Now, he can TP and like, grab one and come towards the top lane at the moment, or others going to push out the middle lane. Burning with strafe and searing arrows, he dark cracks one of his creeps. This is going to be a trade-off in damage, and they have to use fortification for the Dire Sight as well as the Radiant. The Bear's attacking him, but Ice 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 pulled the creep wave up, and now he jumps in! It's a two-man chrono though. He didn't get the lone druid, and he can't beat down ROTK, so the Chrono uh, is basically delaying them until the Tier 1 tower goes down. And it's completely wafted. But the hilarious thing is, DK will still get up the tower. No one's gonna come back. This just turns into a tower train with one ulti down. This game is really weird, Toby. It's... Imagine if I was solo casting this. You. I, I wouldn't... <laughs> well, it's, it's an interesting start to the day. I believe we have... There's actually one of the compendium... Um, one of the compendium questions was how long until first blood? How long until the latest first blood? I actually had. And I think this is the latest we have so far in the tournament. Mine at least that I've 14 seen. Fourteen minutes, I think. Yeah, uh, oh, roughly around that. We're now eleven minutes in without a kill. I still think overall from this exchange, Yuji is definitely coming out ahead. They're getting two towers for the price of one. DK are trying to get a trade off in mid, but I don't think they'll be able to claim this. Vichy will be porting back the lone druid, so two towers for one. Bottom didn't get take any damage and. What was the trade-off for DK? They got a lot of levels on Juggernaut, so he got level five and a half and a point booster. He's going straight into the yeah, Aghanim. Yeah, this, this is what he did as well. He had an Aghanim scepter up and running before he hit level 11. And I mean, when you look at it, if when DK are running a lineup where Juggernaut and Skyrath are the two supports and they have pretty much no impact in the early game whatsoever so far, I think DK should be really happy that they have zero deaths. Like, Vichy Gaming supports, fortunately for DK, and perhaps that's the reason they drafted it, are not that good at ganking early on. Shadow Demon and Shadow Shaman, not the best of combos, and they didn't even try to go in mid and, and put any pressure. So it was essentially just a farm, uh, a farm trade-off, where, I mean, a support juggernaut is going to get, if he starts getting farm, he's just going to be really useful in the mid game. And mm -hmm. I like the solution from DK to give him that bottom lane for a while, but as it seems, they didn't just trade it for one extra tower. They're going to trade it for two. Now they'll try to trade for their own. I mean, they, like, I feel like this is PvE Dota right now. It's... There's, the heroes are actually not even touching each other. The, the biggest amount of PvP we've had so far was a Chronosphere and one attack on Tide and then he backed off. <laughs> It's a very peculiar game right now. Mushi, Perfect time to TP out as well. Good TP from Mushi. Uh, th this, this, is, this is also DK reading what VG Gaming are doing perfectly. And all they're trying to do is like, okay, they understand early game push from, uh, as well as team fight from VG Gaming is something they don't want to be involved in. Until the Juggernaut hits level 6, which is now. Now, Juggernaut still needs mana before he could be effective. Oh, the point booster is really good. Yeah, so the point booster helps with this, but his mana pool is still completely dry right now. He's gonna have to either get a region or go back to base, or try to split push again in DK. <laughs> he has an illusion, man. This I is one of the weirdest game of games I've seen in a long while, because neither team seems interested, or actually Vichy are interested in fighting, but DK know they can't fight. Yeah. They don't stand a chance in these fights yet. <laughs> we actually 13 have a 13 minute, minute radiance. radiance. <laughs> this, is, this is how much space has been given to Siler in this That's game. That's what happens when you get 74 CS and 4 towers in a 13 minute game. Yep. I think Vichy will try to go high ground here. They'll just keep going. But Vichy can't go high ground though. Why not? If, if Vichy attempt high ground, that's where it all falls apart. Wait, FY's level 6, right? Yeah, he is. They, 
I, I they're gonna push I don't think they can. I, I think don't think they can because you still have to take into account the Chrono is gonna be there and the combination for DK is now up. Like if they TP back and they're ready. VG Gaming, I agree, they should try and force high ground, but they have got to be so careful just about this potential box of death. If they walk into this area and get caught there without getting up to the high ground, they can lose so much. Now Burning just took up the top tower. I think they're gonna get the more down. No, I think the massive wards are going to be chipped out of here. There's no fortification available. The bear is pretty low as well. Actually, they're just focusing the bear because he's that close. But Burning is now back again. The spins on the front lines from Lanham. That's actually a little early for him to trigger that one off. But the tower sent down to half of his life points for no kills whatsoever. We're 14 minutes in and the new 3 tower may actually go down here. Now Ice Ice Ice! The Chrono! He's jumping for FY! Fenrir! Defensive disruption! They have to move over to Super and the Viper! He gets the make charge off! They haven't killed him off! Now RATK comes in! Perfect Ravage! Kills off Burning! They also lost Ice 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 for that one with the rest of the team. The tower is actually going to go down here and the first blood finally 14 minutes in is spilled. Lanham is backing himself up. He doesn't have mana for his ultimate anymore because he missed, he missed the combo timing for it all. And now blink in! Anchor Smash! Lanham! One more hit from RATK! Not enough! He can't get close enough to finish the job but Mushi! He's in real trouble trying to fall back. Vol charging up. He's trying to surge himself away with his own face boots but Burning back in the fight again. He's gone down. So the Viper taking the kill and we're looking at a 14 minute <laughs> melee rack coming out from VG Gaming. This what game the hell is, is just, it, it's a mind fuck. That's what it is. Fenrir is in trouble. Shadow Demon, the mech, that should bring him back to full life. ROTK, the anchor smashed up an ice ice ice. He's shackled right now, running himself away. Backtrack's trying to help him out with a shock. For the last attack from Viper, it's a double kill for Super. They don't even have to back off right now. The biggest problem VG Gaming has is the tier 2 tower is still up in the middle lane. This is easily weirdest game of the tournament award right here. And see, the reason I was calling that I thought VG were going to get barracks and they actually did accomplish it. They didn't even lose a hero. They won 5 for 0, they got the racks. No one on DK can fight into their lineup. There's a r if they initiate, they actually... Ice has Ice got the perfect chrono. He caught the Viper, they almost burst him down, but they didn't manage completely. He sticks, he mechs. From that point on, the fight is just lost. Shadow Demon was not in a position to disrupt, but he didn't need to since they lived, and... You they see, pulled back two heroes. It's great for DK to have these cores, but they don't have the damage to deal with the 13-minute uh, Radiance Bear. They just send it in the front lines. The longer the team fight goes, the easier it is for Vici, and you just saw it there. They, they took a... I, I don't know. They just To me, they just go to the... Roche, maybe, next lane and do the same again. I... Oh. I cannot oh, imagine how DK can possibly deal with this. They're coming to contest Roshan right now. The funny thing is though, Vici Gaming haven't even started. They've been laying on the way for the blast. Now Ice 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 jumps in, let the Juggernaut ulti go, and they're going to bring down Super here at the start. But no, it's the disruption! Fenrir will save it, the Mech Charge will come off Super! He's not going to get away though. The orbs will follow him out. And now though, they lost Ice Ice Ice. They're going to lose Mushi if RTK can... Well, he will. He'll gush, he'll blink, he'll anchor, and then just a shock from Shadow Shaman from FY to kill Secure of this one. No, and pardon my French, but fr from before, if we want to censor it, this is Operation Mindbuck. It's Operation, we fucking lost <laughs> for DK. Just, oh, wow. Again, just from a strategic standpoint, I, <laughs> I, like, I don't understand what DK were planning. And Vici just seemed to be clearly one step ahead in this game with their draft. Their execution has been perfect. They, whenever they traded towers, they traded favorably. And they knew that the trades for them would revolve, uh, or would result into way more important items for a 15 minute push, right? So when I said they picked the Lone Druid to probably go for a longer game, they actually went for 14 minute racks after all. And, you know, to me this is just like, I think DK are doing what they can. Their early game didn't work out at all. And they're, I think Ice Ice Ice's Chronosphere has been pretty much perfect. But they can't do anything. Like, Dude. the. the it's D just a strategic, for me, a complete strategic loss. DK is they literally Brazil right now. Yeah. Uh, literally <laughs> Brazil. Oh, uh, too soon, Toby. It's it's not soon enough. Speaking as a guy that lives in Germany. Oh man, it's seven one, and VG have a full bottom rack, and they're looking down the middle with Vlad's on bear. And that Radiant still on 1800 gold. Up they come! No fear whatsoever! Look at Super! Just like man moaning! It's like, I got Aegis of the Immortal! What are you gonna do, Lanham? You got no ultimate! The Mass Serpent Wards are down, they're pushing the Tier 3 tower out, and DK, man, just Radiant mercy, please! They at least get the, <laughs> the healing one. They don't have the extra regeneration here, and Super, no ultimate! I would say, where is his Aggadim Scepter? But we're 18 minutes into the game! Mushy in close, looking for the Entangle on onto the uh, Troll Warlord, and there's your Ravage! 
That's going to be Troll Warlord down for the count. Neg charge or not, he will not survive this. And they move to Ice Ice Ice. This is, this is GG. This is so GG, it ain't even funny anymore. 18 minutes in, VG Gaming. In the first game of the day, I brought the paddle and spanked DK. I feel like Beachy's games so far that I've seen are just absolute stomps. They they might be the best team at drafting right now in the tournament. It's just they, they see openings in the draft, they go for their execution. I, I don't know what would you would call... They win a game with a level 5 Shadow Demon. I mean, <laughs> this is the weirdest game I've ever seen out from Beachy I, here. But just absolutely... For pretty me? much flawless execution on the strategy. Yep. They outpicked DK. They got exactly what 